Music scene sensation Moose here, and I'm here to tell you about something interesting. Did you know that the giraffe doesn't make any sounds? But that's not important. What is important is this. It's the new Garmin Striker 7 SV. So we're going to have a little bit of a quick look at this groovy new model. This guy's excited. Hey, look at him. So this is the new Striker 7 SV from Garmin. It's a 7 inch fish finder with chirp bass sounder, side and down view, but with also a little bit of GPS functionality built in. No mapping, but some cool tricks. So let's open it up, see what you get with the box, and have a little quick look. So here we go, the Striker 7 SV. Let's bust it open. Usual old stuff. First thing is manual. Yay, you win. We're surmounting dimensions on the back. Here's the power cable. It's one of those small power cables with an inline fuse. They're pretty robust. Oh, whoop. okay. Now here comes the, the transducer. It's the new GT52 high-frequency wide beam. A little bit shorter than the other GT transducers. We'll put that aside for now and bust out the big bit. Here we go. A little bit of magic. And here we go. This is the new SV, it's 23.5 centimeters wide overall. And we'll just have a look at the side, which is 5.78 deep, 5.8 I should say. And it measures a nice 14 centimeters high. So it's not that big, it's quite a small compact seven inch system with buttons obviously. And on the back there, you have your three port pins. We'll put that aside for now though. And there's our brackets, the first Garmin seven inch on a swivel. I think is quite cool. There is the 12 pin to double small cable connector. And there's the bottom of that swivel bracket. Cool. So let's fire it up. Now, one thing that I've noticed with the new striker range is just how quickly they turn on. Boom, done. Now, a little bit of editing, but it's okay. So, standard menu screen with split frequency, side view, down view, traditional splits. Waypoint and waypoint map, that's a new one. Uh, there's a little bit more, so we'll just go down to the bottom and. Oh, there it is, customize home. Because of course you can customize the home screen. The waypoint map is the new one. Let's go right to the top to traditional sonar first. Now, the interesting thing is that we're running a full proper chirp transducer now, which is going to give us really, really crisp images. I'll talk a little bit about that more in a second. We'll just go back for a second now. Check out the down view, which is also chirped. 455 kilohertz to 800 kilohertz. Great for your target separation and obviously bottom contouring. Side view. You can see it's also chirped 455 kilohertz. The nice thing about Garmin's side view is that it's incredibly crisp. It's definitely a market leader at the moment. So they're packing a lot of sonar punch into this small what is essentially standalone sonar? Gone are the days of just a basic traditional down view, maybe with a high frequency. But we now have upside imaging and high frequency chirp. Here we go, our splits. The buttons are a bit softer too, which is which is nice. We'll just go to this split here. You can see the difference between chirp and down view. Uh, obviously, we can have all three on the screen at the same time. The system is incredibly quick. You can see there's no real lag from pressing something. Waypoint map's a new one. Just like your standard Garmin mapping, just without the actual data, we still have waypoints, routes, trails. We can create kind of our own pseudo maps by using trails, but obviously you get limited range. If you're in an area where you can't get mapping, or you don't really care about mapping because you're in a kayak, for example, this is a really nice feature because obviously you're gonna get your speed, you're going to get distance traveled, so you're going to get waypoints, etc. Everything you need in a GPS without having to pay for a map, which really does reduce the cost of the system. All right, traditional sonar. I was speaking a little bit about it before, but it's a bit more in depth. This is a new high wide chirp, which means we're going to have less power, only 250 watts, but 
the fish arches in those shallow depths are going to be really crisp and with that wider beam that means we're going to see a more arch like fish obviously in the sonar menus we can still muck around with it a little bit change the appearance noise rejection so you've got your tvg interference surface noise you can still play with all these features that you can on the more advanced garment system It's just something that I really like. What Edge does is it places a thin white line just along here on the hardest return of the bottom. So it's a really nice way to determine what the bottom substrate is. Is it rock, is it sand, mud, by how much is above that white line. Here in a high frequency, you can see some tires, man made reefs, some logs laying down. Really cool. Pretty much all your standard sonar features. Though it's not lacking in anything in this system, other than in the mapping department, really. How good is this music, by the way? So in the waypoints, you can see, you can still name things, you can still change the location, all that jazz. Very easy to use. These soft buttons are a lot nicer to touch. The unit itself has a really masculine look to it, quite hardcore, you know, real big, bold Garmin. It's kind of like Garmin has finally taken a piss in the wind and saying, look how tough we are, we're going to put our name over everything. Plugs are okay, I would have preferred a bit more of a resistant click-in or some kind of screw just to make it a bit more water resistant, but it's a nice, bright, simple unit. Oh, did I mention that they're kind of bulletproof too? Jeez. Well done, Garmin. <laughs> So that's a quick look at the Garmin 7 SV, the flagship of the new Striker range. And what do I think of it? They are a brilliant standalone fish finder with that high wide beam chirp transducer. They give you enough mapping features that you can be forgiven and plug it in and have a play. And if you don't really care, then whatever. But it's there if you want it. I really like the swivel 7 inch bracket. That's going to be groovy. Uh, I, I would like to see the plugs to be a bit stronger, but overall, this is a great unit for its price. I give it 8 out of 10 mooses. So thanks very much for watching. I really enjoy making these videos. If you've got any comments, please go to moosemarine.com.au or you can check out our Facebook page, which is Marine Electronics with Moose. Anyway, that's enough for me, guys. Stay safe in the water. Have a great time. Please subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.